Dominion operators went in and injected votes and changed the whole system. They run a computer algorithm on it as needed to either flip votes, take votes out, or alter the votes to make a candidate win. It has been used all over the world to defy the will of people who wanted freedom. There is statistical evidence, there is all kinds of mathematical evidence, uh, essentially forensic evidence. Dominion and its minions and other state officials everywhere are apparently out there trying to destroy everything they can get to before we can seize it. They had this all planned, Maria. It is one huge, huge criminal conspiracy. But according to Powell, the conspiracy against Trump didn't just involve Dominion. No, no. It was an international syndicate of globalists, communists, corporations, and ghosts, including the ever-present right-wing boogeyman George Soros, Hillary Clinton, and the very, very dead Hugo Chavez. Descansa en paz, Senor Chavez. Powell famously promised to release the Kraken in a flurry of lawsuits that would finally prove her claims once and for all. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So there is some massive, massive news in the Georgia case against President Donald Trump. There has been a really, really big guilty plea. And honestly, this probably changes just about everything. But before I get into it, guys, thanks so much to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. Really, really appreciate the support. We're building an awesome community together. If you haven't already, guys, please join us. Help us to continue to grow. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. And uh, let's get into it. So Trump's former lawyer, Sidney Powell, who really both sides thought was more of a crazy crackpot than anybody seriously. And, you know, depending on what you read, pretty well responsible for most of the more out there legal theories and out there legal beliefs that the former president held, right? So she's pled guilty, which really is very, very bad news for Trump because as part of her deal, She's agreed to testify against anybody that the prosecution of Fannie Willis calls her to testify against, which, of course, like any powerful prosecutor, this this is what Fannie Willis was after in the first place. This is what they're always after. That's why they indict so many quote unquote co-conspirators. They want to get you to turn. Have a look at this. Into CNN. Uh, well, Caitlin Polance, I'm going to go to you since we see you up on the screen with it. It involves Sidney Powell and a plea deal in Georgia. Caitlin, what are you learning? This is quite a significant development this morning, John and Kate. What we have now is Sidney Powell, one of the top lawyers that was working for Donald Trump after the 2020 election. She is pleading guilty in the election subversion case that she is charged criminally in in Georgia. This is the state level case against her and 18 other defendants, including Donald Trump, including Mark Meadows, including Rudy Giuliani. And in that case, she is not only pleading guilty to some charges there, she's in court currently at this very moment entering that plea before a judge. She also is agreeing as part of this deal to testify at future trials. So Sidney Powell is lined up uh, essentially to go to trial at the end of this week alongside one other defendant in that case, another lawyer, Ken Chesbro. She's not going to be going to trial now. So she's taking this plea deal. She will not have that trial. She will also be uh, in a situation where prosecutors will be reckon recommending her to avoid jail time as part of this deal. Uh, but it's significant that not only is she avoiding the trial, not only is she putting in this guilty plea, that she is very likely to become a witness against Donald Trump and the others as they go to trial in Georgia. And there's a lot here at stake, not only in Georgia, but also in the federal court in D.C., where another criminal case against the former president exists and where Sidney Powell has been identified as a top co-conspirator there. And so what this means for Donald Trump going forward is it's not good uh, for him to have people pleading and agreeing to cooperate with prosecutors, whether it's at the federal level or state level. So having Sidney Powell agreeing to testify is quite a significant step forward for the prosecutors in Georgia, as well as potentially any other prosecutors uh, who are bringing and trying to prosecute cases against Donald Trump at trial. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm being told that we just heard from Judge McAfee in Georgia just a moment ago. <laughs> So yeah, man, we'll see how this unfolds, but basically she's out to save herself, which everybody kind of is, I guess. I can't honestly imagine that she's got much that she can say about the man or the government's case. I mean, after all, she was one of the architects of this whole thing herself. 
So I'm not exactly sure how you can convince a person of a certain course of legal action in your role as their legal counsel and then testify against them if they listen to you. It doesn't make sense to me. It, there's more to understand here. It's pretty interesting stuff. And, you know, I always thought this lady was pretty nutty. You know, now we get to find out just how crazy she really is, I guess. And honestly, I'm not exactly sure what to think about this, guys, but I'd like to know what you think. I'd like to know your thoughts on it. So let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.